Libra, hope you're well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Libra, today we're going to figure out your career and financial energy, your romantic energy, who is coming, who is going, and how is your health. Now, if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Libra, make sure you stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. First card, Four of Swords. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Judgment. Three of Swords. Very interesting. Five of Swords. So a lot of Swords. A lot of thinking going on here. Page of Cups. The Devil. Magician. Six of Cups. Holy moly. Holy moly. Little nostalgia too. Got the World card and the Seven of Wands. So I do see here right now your career and financial energy. Things are blossoming and growing, but there's an opportunity that will be presented to you. And right now, when this opportunity is presented, your angels are telling you that this is the time to be decisive. So you got to be decisive with this decision, whatever this is that's coming your way. Maybe this is a decision to invest in something. You might meet someone, they want to mentor you, guide you. They may want to show you how to invest in some cryptos and some stocks, in some real estate. And you got to be decisive because that decisive energy is letting the universe know you are ready for more. Your angels and guides are bringing this person, whoever this is, into your life to help guide you. But if your guard is up, you're going to dismiss it, right? And that's something that happens to a lot of us. Is like, you know, we go through things that, you know, invest and people that were going to help us before in the past and they may have not come through so your guard is up and now when someone presents an opportunity to you rather than think of what can go right you're telling yourself how things can go wrong and you know what if this person lies to me cheats and betrays me and maybe they didn't come through and you're it's almost like self-sabotaging before it even starts and I do see here that unless you're willing to let go of that energy of what can go wrong and instead replace it with what can go right it's going to be just basically self-sabotage and you're going to be stuck in that pattern of something going wrong and it's like it's like we're doing you know that what's going wrong energy it's like watching a rerun of a horror movie over and over and over again and that's the problem is that your mind will not be able to tell the difference between real or fake if it feels real now that's the placebo effect for example so if you feel as if it's going to go wrong it's like dying a thousand deaths your mind thinks constantly something went wrong and therefore you're reprogramming your subconscious mind for failure but instead when you actually look at it from the perspective of what can go right and that's the energy that i'm feeling right now good things things financially, uh, 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 energetic wise, as far as your career, things are looking very well and they're, they're going to be blossoming, growing for you, new opportunities coming and or your business or career is going to be ascending to the next level. When you look at it from that perspective, not only are you, is it easier and more fun to live life and enjoy, but on top of that, like attracts like law of attraction you're quantum entangling with one of the infinite number of realities and you're entangling with the one that you succeeded right and that's how you gotta you gotta be clever you gotta kind of play the game to win here and use that law of attraction to your benefit now you have the magician and the six of cups which is very interesting because you have the seven of wands and extra so it's like a part of you wants to be happy a part of you your inner child is just yearning yearning to do something that you truly love and i do see here that your relationships from the past some of the trouble that you dealt with before was that you were so willing and open and, and it, you were so such a beautiful soul you are libra and you were so open to to the relationships and the possibilities of really just being your best version of yourself and not you know casting the first stone not you know doing anything to you know uh, cause any trouble but the energy that you got back was not reciprocated and therefore it was almost taking your kindness for weakness and i see here that right now you're kind of more hesitant when it comes to your new relationships because you're worried about getting hurt and that's the same thing that goes back to the, re the relationship when it comes to money and investments it's like it, unless you are willing to let go of the past, unless you are willing to let go of the energy that has been making you feel like, like, you're having a hard time taking that leap of faith there's going to be a lot of procrastination and hesitation here but if when you let go and when you really start following your heart following your passion and knowing that you're part of source energy knowing that you are part of the divine spark knowing that your angels and guides are here and they're going to guide you and they're going to bring people in your life through divine intervention divine source and divine timing because not only do they want to see you succeed but it's your birthright but it's also a choice and 
when you let go and you finally receive the help that they're, they're looking to give you, that's when things change and that's when you can really change your energy and by changing your energy, you're changing your life. And it's like, I know for me, one thing that I love doing is instilling new excellent habits in my life. Like for example, if one of the habits I used to have was I used to always be very overprotective and I used to be overprotective of myself, my family, my, my pets, my, my money, everything. And I was always worried about getting hurt. And I never knew why this was until I looked into, you know, the patterns that I developed as I grew older. Everything's from your childhood. And I realized as a child, you know, I was really, my parents, parents were always busy working. I was there to fend for myself and it was very interesting. Um, so with that being said, now I have a new model in my life where I tell myself I never cast the first stone. I always extend the olive branch out, but I match people's energy. So for example, I will not betray you, disappoint you. I will not lie to you. I will not hurt you. I will not make you feel insecure. I will not say anything disrespectful to you. I will not project my insecurities out towards you. But if I feel like the other person is doing that to me, at that point, that's when I audit that relationship and audit that belief. And that's the energy that I'm picking up from you as well. It's like spirit is letting you know to audit your relationships, audit your beliefs, and don't, um, don't feel as if you need to have your guard up in order not to get hurt because no one is going to hurt you other than you know the, the ego and fear preventing you from being your genuine authentic self. Now I want to pull your animal spirit and look at that. It's otter spirit. What a beautiful card. And look at the message. You are never alone. And that is a gentle reminder from your guides letting you know that you are not alone. You have a whole team of spirit guides here to help you. You have an army of angels, army of love, never war. And right now what they want to do is guide you, help you, mentor you, teach you. They want to show you what joy is about, show you what happiness is about. And at the end of the day, look at it from this perspective. You may be here and you're telling yourself, I want say money in order to buy stuff, in order to be comfortable, in order to be happy, right? Cut out the middleman, just go from here to happy. That's how it works. Or for example, you may be here and you're telling yourself, I want to meet my soulmate to experience stuff to be happy. Cut all this out and be happy. Why? Because when you are happy, duh, 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 now law of attraction, you get it. But if you're constantly telling yourself, I will be happy when I have something, when an event takes place, you're saying I'm not happy now. And if you're not happy now, how you think and how you feel creates your state of being and your state of being creates your reality and reality is what's in harmony with you. What does that mean? If you are unhappy now, you are going to get more like minded thoughts, more like-minded opportunities and people that are unhappy. Therefore, when it rains, it pours, right? You don't want that. So right now, learn to be happy now. You want to be able to snap your fingers and feel unconditional love. If you can do that, and it can be get done, for example, like method acting, right? You go to an actress, actor, and you're like, cry on demand, they'll cry on demand. If you tell them feel unconditional love, they'll feel unconditional love. You got to tap into a memory, a feeling, a trigger, something. And if you can feel unconditional love, you let me know in that comment section right now. If you can do this, you have, this is the mic drop moment of everything. If you can feel unconditional love with a snap of a finger, you are a evolved spiritual being. Let me tell you. All right, Libra. Now let's get a final message from your spirit guides. And look at this. Look at the message. Shift your energy. Why is that? Because when you shift your energy, you shift your life. What a beautiful message. And this is number 19. And right now they are saying, clear your energy, the energy of those around you and the energy of your environment. Winds of change are blowing into your awareness in order to prepare for what is ahead. Begin a process of renewal. And this right here, like begin that process of renewal. Imagine how different life is gonna be when you're able to shift that energy. And shifting your energy may sound so easy. It may seem like it's like anyone can do it. But at the end of the day, it takes practice, right? Like for example, if you're having a bad day to tell someone, just change your energy, it may be like, oh, okay, well, you know, it's easy for you to say you're not emotionally attached to the situation. But if you have action steps in place, if you have like a, like a system that you use to shift your energy, such as, Breathe in, hold your breath for four, exhale, or start counting back from 10, or think of a happy thought, happy trigger, or start saying 10 gratefuls. Like gratefuls are the immediate way you can change your energy. Anytime I'm having a bad day, when something bad happens, you usually think about the one thing that's going that didn't go right, but you're not thinking of the 20 things that did go right. So for example, say if I'm driving, I get a flat tire. I'm not like, oh man, flat tire, hate my life. If I get into that mode, I immediately have my awareness catch me there, 
time to shift my energy. And at that point, I'll be like, ah, oh, I am so grateful I didn't get in an accident. I am so grateful I have a jack or I have a phone that can call the tow truck company. I'm so grateful that I got a lesson out of this. What's the lesson? Check my tire pressure, watch the curb, whatever. But by changing your energy, you will change your life and everything will be effortless rather than efforted. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope that was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.